Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we are going to be focusing on performing the design or optimization and reviewing the results both in the output file and the post processor. To perform the analysis and optimization, we're going to go to the Analysis and Design tab in the ribbon and click on the Run Analysis icon. After the analysis and design is performed, you're going to want to check the STAD analysis and design dialog to see if you have any errors or warnings that you should be aware of before proceeding to review the rest of the results. If you do have any errors or warnings, you'll be able to see that information in the output file. Now for this model, we're going to go ahead and review our results in two different locations, in the output file and the post processor. And we're going to start in the output file. So we'll go ahead and say view output file and then we'll click done. Now in the output file, we'll go ahead and click on the results bar and we're going to notice two steel design options. STAD Pro will provide a quick link to a steel design section for each steel design command you add in the input file. We'll go ahead and click on the first steel design option. Now this section contains the results of your select command for each member. It's going to report the optimized member size for each member that was included in the select command. So here we can have each particular member, and as we scroll down, we're going to assign, find that each member has been optimized. We're going to scroll down a little further because we're going to find some other results at the end of this section. Now at the end of this section, we're going to find some information res resulting from the group command. It's going to report the governing section size for each group that was defined after the select command. So here you see we have our parameter to folder. We've grouped our members and it's letting us know that in that first group which we assigned to our columns, it came up with a size of an HSST 8 by 8 by 0 0.5. Next we have our second grouping command. Here it decided that our roof girders have been optimized to assign size of W10 by 33. And the last group, which are, was our floor girders, was to a W12 by 30. Next, what we're going to do is select the second steel design command. Now, this section contains the results of the code check command. This command checked the strength of the optimized member sizes, or those sizes that were selected through the select and group commands, according to the code requirements of the AISC 36010 LRFD specification. Now the code check command will include a pass or fail for each particular member and it's gone ahead and checked the optimized member size for each one. Now we want to make sure that everything in this section says pass instead of fail. As a reminder it is possible after the forces are redistributed throughout the model for certain members to fail code check so you want to make sure that everything has passed. To quickly scan through your file, we're going to come up in our output file and select our find icon and we can basically search for the word fail. We'll go ahead and click find next and StadPro has finished looking through our output file and we currently don't have any failed members. Now we're going to go ahead and exit out of the output viewer and we're going to proceed to our post processor to basically be able to access our analysis results in a more graphical or tabular format. So over in your workflow panel, we're now going to select the post processing option. Once in the post processor to obtain your steel design results, we're going to go up to our ribbon toolbar, select our results tab and use our layouts icon to select our utilization icon. Here what's going to happen is our model is going to be color coded 
to show the results of the last steel design command that was issued, which was our check code command. We can see that the entire model is green, which means that all of the members pass that final code check, where we allow the interaction ratio limit to be 1.0. Let's go ahead now and take a look at our steel design results table. We're going to find several different areas that we're going to want to take a look at over here. The first is the analysis property. This will list the original property that was assigned to each of the steel members in the model when the first analysis was conducted. Adjacent to that, you're going to find your design property. This will list the property that was used when the final analysis was conducted. This is the property that was selected by StatPro as a result of your select command. And finally, you have your field for your actual ratio. This will list the interaction ratio that was calculated during the check code command. This interaction ratio is associated with the optimized size or the design property. In addition to that, you may also want to consider checking the failed members tab. This will indicate any members that failed the final code check, which you can see we don't have any for this particular model. Let's now return back to the all tab and let's take a look at our results a little further. Now there are a lot of different section sizes indicated over in this table. Some of the different section types were grouped and some were not, which means that some of them have a common section size such as our columns and some of our beam members might have a unique size assigned to each one. It may be nice if you did use some uh, grouping to basically filter your results based on each individual category so you can take a closer look at your results. To do that, we're going to come up to the results tab in the ribbon and we're going to select the select load case icon. This will be able to be found within the configuration tools. Now within the results setup dialog, which we do see when we initially enter the post processor, we can select the ranges area and we can select different groups if you want to kind of filter the results in the design table. So let's go ahead and take a look at our roof girders first. These members were grouped with the select command. So we should see a common section size assigned to each one. So if we select our roof girders, we'll go ahead and click OK. And we can see that all these were grouped with a W10 by 33 being assigned to all of them. Let's go ahead and do this again and take a look at our roof beams. Again, we're going to go to our select load cases icon. And let's go ahead and select our roof beams to take a look at some different data. As you can see, these members were not grouped with a select command, and we do have a unique size assigned to each one of these. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.